Hey everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play for Vintage Story. This is basically a standalone version of the Terra Firma Craft mod for Minecraft. Currently in early access, but not on Steam or the Epic Game Store. You get it off their website, so they're going old school with the distribution for the time being. With that said, let's get into the game. So we'll just create a new world, and for the playstyle, I'm going to go with Wilderness Survival. Because that's the difficult playstyle here, out of all four of these. And I will pick a different name. Awesome Kingdom Lands. Alright, we'll do that. And we'll just go with the base settings for Wilderness Survival. So, the difficulty will be increased when you're playing on this game mode. Like, if you're familiar with Vintage Story, um... You're going to have, on other game modes, you'll have a map, you'll have coordinates, and you pretty much cannot get lost on these other game modes. But on Wilderness Survival, I don't have access to the world map, and I don't have access to coordinates, so I can actually get lost in this game mode, so I have to be very careful where I go. And I don't really like customizing my character, so we'll just randomize, and I'll go with this guy. And we also have character classes, but the thing is, I don't really like any of these classes. Like, they all have negative traits that I really don't want. So I'm going to go with Commoner, because it has no positive or negative traits. Alright, let's go. The first thing I'm going to do is build a knife. And for that I need sticks, and I need... Well, first, I need to figure out what stones are in this region. Let's get some food. Oh, there's a trader. I have nothing to trade, so can't really use that, but let's see what he has. Like, there's a lot of different traders in this game. And you are food, which means you are useless. Maybe I could sell you some of this stuff and get some gears. Gears are the currency in this game, but more on that later. Anyway, we're in a shale biome. So I don't want shale stones for making tools. What I want are the flint on the ground. So yeah. Normally, the map would appear on the top right corner of the screen, but I don't have access to it. I press M, no access. So I have to be very careful where I go because I can get lost and never find my way back home. And what I'm trying to look for is flint because I don't want to use... Or you know what? I can't really find flint. Let's just pick up these shale stones for time being. And what I'm going to... This stone is too soft to use. Okay, so I do have to find flint. And I have to be very careful here because I don't want to fall. There's a lot of shale stones, but no flint. Oh, there we go. There we go. Thank you, game. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, that's quartz. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this flint and I'm going to make knife blades. And you're basically napping the flint here in the shape of the tools you're making. So we're basically starting and at the Stone Age, and then we'll work our way up to the various texts, I guess you can call it that. And did I just mess this up? There. Okay, so next what I want to do now that I have my knife, is find some... What's it called? The Cooper Reeds. Because when you start this game, as you can see here, I don't have an inventory. The only items I can have are everything in my hotbar, so... I have to address that, like, right away. You always want to be doing that at, at the beginning of this game. And I don't need the lily pads, so we're going to get rid of that. So 
so what I want is 64 of these Cooper Reeds. So 40 of them will be used to build our inventory. The is for four baskets that we'll use to uh, basically create our inventory and then another 24 so that we have some storage that we can put down on the ground. And then for the time being, I also want to create some temporary housing. Just so I can have like a base where I can sleep and store stuff. And do stuff during the night. Because enemies do come out during the night. They're called drifters. And you'll see them later. Or at least hear them. I probably won't be seeing them. But they'll be hanging around the house. And they'll be like creeping me out all night while I work on stuff. And here's some plants, but I'm going to ignore them for now. Borax bits. Oh, here's some borax. Uh, that's for creating lime, which I need to make leather. And here's some terra petra, which I need for farming. So I want to stay by that trader over there for the time being. Like this is a very hilly area and I don't think I want to stay here for too long. I want a nice flat area I can build on. And here we go, more Cooper Reeds. Eventually, I'll be able to get a scythe, which will make harvesting these a lot easier. Now I'll be needing a lot of these for when I go into beekeeping. And again, I'll be talking about that more later on. Here we have 14 more to go. It is 10.58. Oh, by the way, if I were to die in Wilderness Survival, the game will respawn me in a random location, like 5,000 blocks from center. So, it's pretty much permadeath. If you think about it like that, because I'll never be able to find my base again if I die in Wilderness Survival. However, if I manage to get my hands on, uh, what's it called? A temporal gear. That's used for setting the respawn point. So, if I can get my hands on one of those, then I'm good. I can die and I'll respawn wherever I set the spawn point. Okay, so we got 64 of these now. And we're going to create the four baskets that I need for my inventory. And there we go. And I'll also create, if I remember how to do this, yeah, create the reed basket so now I can store eight things in storage on the ground. Okay, next after this, well, let's get rid of these lily pads. Okay, let's head back over there. And I will start... Wait, where am I? That's the trader. You know what? I want to collect these stones over there from the boulders. I'm going to need that for construction materials. This is a gravel area, so this is where boulders would spawn. And there we go. And here's the block physics. By the way, I should also mention in Wilderness Survival, the dirt will also have the same properties as gravel and sand. So if you're playing on the other game modes, uh, that doesn't happen with dirt. But here, 
it will happen with dirt, so I cannot use dirt as a building material like other players are doing. I'm collecting these rocks because I'm going to uh, combine it with clay to create a uh, cobblestone. And we should probably eat something. I'm gonna need more cobblestone than that, or more stones than that. So I'll just continue collecting these rocks, or stones. Like, I'm actually surprised more people don't do this. Like, they... The first house, on the first day, they just build, like, uh, dirt houses. And I do not want lead. Well, it's mainly because you can build houses with dirt, but not here, so... I'm pretty much forced to get these more, I guess, advanced materials. Now, there are crops on the ground that I'm spotting, but I'm not collecting them on the first day because I need the inventory. I need to set up a house first. And while we're at it, I also need an axe. Because I need to chop down some trees for some firewood. And while we're at it, let's also make a shovel so I can dig stuff up. Now I will need to make some spears so I can go hunting and I don't have sticks. Okay, we'll worry about the spears on the second day. So for the time being, I'm just going to avoid any hostiles that I encounter. Or try to. How many sticks do I have? One. There we go. Alright, so I have a shovel and an axe. I can start collecting wood. Okay, so it's 1.30. So I'm going to try to collect a few more of these boulders. Like, there's going to be lots of boulders in that direction, so I'm not worried about materials. But I want to get the nearby ones. Because I want to get a base up quickly. Oh, here's some ruins. So, there should be a vessel here. Yeah. Okay, that contains seeds, so we'll leave it for now. Like, I'm gonna get into farming later, but not now. Okay, so I have like three stacks. Well, let's go for one more stack, just in case. While we're at it, I do want to try and locate copper deposits on the surface, just so I can quickly advance the tech tree. I guess it's not really a tech tree, it's more like stuff is gated behind copper. So I need to move from the Stone Age to the Copper Age fairly quickly so I can get stuff like the Copper Saw so I can make more advanced wood things. Okay, so we have four stacks. That should be good enough. Let's head back. And on the way, I guess I'll take these. Like, I really shouldn't be spending too much time doing this. Just take what I can get and then go. It should be in this direction. Yeah, there's the ruins. Might as well just take these since it's along the way. I do need more flint as well. And flax. I'm going to need lots of flax. 
because eventually I'll be automating the certain things. And for that, I do need to get some flax so I can create the linen for windmills. And the trader should be over there somewhere. Oh, here's some copper. And it's close by. Like normally I would just mark the location with some hay, but since it's so close by, I'll, I think I can just skip it for the time being. Anyway, let's build a house. Wait, I do need clay. I need to find the clay deposit. Oh, I'm starving. So let's do this. And here's ruins. Okay, there is like a cracked vessel somewhere here, so, but we'll take it later. And more ruins. Uh, that's seeds. Skip that for now. Okay, so what I'm looking for is a clay deposit. So we can start building stuff. Also, I have to be very careful I don't run into wolves. I should take these sticks on the ground. Since it's an easy source of early game sticks. Okay, I also want this horse tail so I can craft some healing items. Really shouldn't be focusing on this. Okay, it's ready 3.30. Now I do need clay. The hell's the clay? These blueberries. Damn it. Really should be careful. Don't want to go too far away. Okay, let's just head back in this direction. Try to find some clay deposits. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, there's the trader, so we know where we are. I am being very careful to make sure I don't get lost because I haven't built any landmarks yet. Like in other game modes you can like set waypoints on the map but since I don't have access to it I have to do something else. And that usually involves like crafting a bunch of hay bales and then placing them on the ground in like a tower. Oh, damn, where is the clay? What the hell game? There's like no clay here. Uh oh. Wait, it's 445 running out of time actually. Come on. Where the hell is the clay? Alternatively, alternatively, had trouble saying that. I could also chop down a bunch of trees and make a shelter out of wood. But I should have done that first. I was going to be effective at that. Oh no. Shit. Turn around. Oh jeez, come on game. Give me some clay, the sun is setting. Okay, let's go up here. I'm 
It's like no clay deposits here. I mean, worst case scenario, I can probably sleep at the trader. In fact, I probably should do that. It would probably make things a hell of a lot easier and make things go faster. Alright, let's head back. I don't think I'm going to get some clay. There's a boar. I also have to be careful because a lot of things can actually one-shot me. Like, definitely wolves, so I have to be careful of wolves. Yeah, so let's just go back to the trader. I'm allowed to sleep on his bed, so there's that. Oh, and I don't want to fall into any of those holes. That'd be really bad. So yeah, I can just store stuff in here. You know what, let's collect some wood. And then we'll just sleep at the trader for the night. Okay, definitely need firewood. Another reason I wanted the clay, not just for the building materials, for the cobblestone, but I also need clay so that I can start doing clay forming. Basically creating stuff out of clay that I need. Things like the storage vessels for preserving food. Uh, what else? I need the cooking pot, uh, we need bowls, stuff like that. So we have to find clay. Maple as well. Yeah, the sun is going down. And I haven't located the resources we need. I did locate copper ore somewhere in that direction. I don't even know what that direction is. Yeah, let's just cut down some pine. You know, I get the feeling that clay is just, like, right in front of me. Somewhere in that direction. But the sun is starting to go down. It's getting dark. Okay, we do need oak for later. So we can make, uh, tannin for leather. Is that clay over there? Kind of looks like it from a distance, but no, it's just low fertility soil. You know what? I can't see a damn thing. Let's just head back. And here's mature spelt. Let's get these sticks on the ground. down one more tree and then we'll go. I need to eat something. Okay, let's put... Oh, I hear a wolf. I'll just put down these trees right here, these saplings. Let's head back. Oh. oh, fuck. No. I take damage every time, every few seconds when I'm completely starving. Okay, so... That's all of our rocks. 
of our shale that we're going to use to build stuff with. And you don't have a bed. Shit. Alright. So we do need to make a bed. This trader doesn't have a bed. So I can't sleep here. Alright, let's go up here. You don't even have any light here. Alright, so... Let's go craft some hay bales. And we'll craft a bed. Now, can I put a bed here? I mean, where exactly do you sleep? Okay, so we can't put the bed here. Alright, let's sleep on the ground and hope nothing attacks us. Still dark. And we have no light. Can't even make a campfire. Or can we? Hang on. So if we chop this up into firewood. I can barely see anything. I do need to make a campfire. I also need to make... Fire starter. Oh, here comes the zombies. Or drifters, or whatever you want to call them. Like, I can't even see them. It's 237, but they're out there. What do you sell, anyway? So if I make 24 bowls for you, I will get 4 gears, then... You have a lot of other stuff that you want, but I can't produce, or at least they're very expensive to produce. Golden treasure chest. Damn you, why couldn't you have some light? Okay, I can make campfire here. Try to light this fire. There we go. We can see stuff now. Alright, so what I want to do with this campfire is create some torches. The hell are you talking about? Now, what I want to do is... I want to start building... Like... Around here somewhere. Or maybe I can build around in that area. That seems a little bit more flatter. 